Now, maybe you thought about coming to New York. You weren't sure where to stay. Well, here you have the Citizen Hotel. Nice boutique hotel. And isn't it cute just to see that? Compared with some of the larger hotels, it's nice when you're staying in a smaller hotel that maybe they're gonna focus on you. And you can see here, they put a lot of work into it. And in New York, there are so many buildings under constant construction. Even when you look around, like look at this corner for example. I'm sure there's a current competition going on with who's gonna acquire the various spaces because you can easily put up a nice 30-story, 50-story hotel in this area. But the game in New York is acquiring different real estate parcels and acquiring enough so that you could put up a building. Now, just say for one of those buildings that you're seeing there, you spend $10 million, but then you acquire the other parcels on that same corner. Now your $10 million building becomes worth $50 million because you have the other parcels too. And now you could put up a really nice building. And that's the game that's constantly played in New York all the time. And, but, and I'm sure that game was played to construct the Citizen Hotel because everyone knows the value of real estate and no one wants to sell out unless they're the developer because then they can reap the final reward. But again, the Citizen Hotel, great hotel to try. So if you're in town, why not give a boutique hotel a try? The Citizen Hotel. Now here is just a close review of the Citizen Hotel so that everyone can see what's going on. It's one thing to see it from the distance, another thing to see it up close where you can see what's going on, the quality of it. And I, I think it's very helpful too for people who are not familiar with the city to see what the hotel looks like and what the area around the hotel looks like so they can make a decision about staying or not staying. And I myself have faced that dilemma many times where you're gonna go to a new city and you're not sure if you're gonna make the right decision about the hotel. And so you think about staying in a hotel, but then you realize that, well, what if you're wrong? What if you're making the wrong decision? And here at least, you can uh, kind of see what the neighborhood looks like. You could kind of understand what things are around the hotel and then make your own decision. And in the end, you, you have to make a judgment call. Not, you're not always gonna be right, but it's good at least to weigh what's going on. And then after you weigh what's going on to make a decision. And in the end, that's a, a great way to try to figure out what you're gonna do. Here we have just another view of the Citizen Hotel, just so people can get a better idea of what it looks like. There we go. Goes all the way up. One of the newer hotels in New York. Sometimes when people come to New York a lot, they might like to change hotels to see what different hotels are like versus always staying in the same hotel. And that's why a lot of hotel developers develop different kinds of hotels to cater to different tastes for the hotel guests. Not everyone wants to stay in the Four Seasons. Not everyone wants to stay in a small boutique hotel. But sometimes the travelers want to change it up. Instead of staying in a beautiful four-star hotel, why not stay in a beautiful four-star boutique hotel? Or a smaller hotel that has like a, a little bit different style to it. And that is like the Citizen Hotel. A different view different perspective of the entrance so people can see what it looks like. Very close to the hotel. 
just to see what it looks like and the beautiful lobby inside. It's one of those wonderful boutique hotels. 